Hello and welcome to this video on how to make a kite in under five minutes. The materials needed are very basic and can be found in most hardware stores. Uh, the primary thing you'll need is some fabric and this is actually um, some underlay for stopping weeds so it's extremely cheap. You'll also need some string and two pieces of one meter long bamboo. An optional extra, if you're having problems with the kite, is a short piece of dowel and I'll show you what to do with that in a minute. The tools you'll need are just some scissors and a stapler. So it's very simple and can be done very quickly. So what you need to do is open up your fabric and cut it into a one meter square. Now to do this I'm just going to use the one meter dowel as a measuring stick and measure out a square. Okay so now that you've got a one meter square piece of fabric we need to fold it in half and then fold it in half again making sure the two loose ends are on top. Now we need to visualize a square on this top section and what you need to do is cut it in half diagonally and make sure you only cut the loose ends and not the inner part that's been folded. Now you want to do the same with the rest of this side and you want it to be cut in a diagonal shape that way. So from this point we've just made to the other side of the fabric. So once you've done that, you should have a shape that looks, yeah, not like that. That's a little bit like a diamond. Um, now what you need to do is get your two one meter long pieces of uh, bamboo and position them along the bottom edge of the triangles I suppose and fold the side over like that. Once you've done that take out the dowel but don't adjust the position of the fold and you need to staple about two centimeters in along the entire length of this fold. And what this has done is basically make a little slot for the bamboo. So all you need to do is thread in the bamboo. Okay, so once that's in, uh, it should look something like this and it will give the fabric some structure and you need to do exactly the same thing for the other side so we'll fold, fold over the triangle again using the bamboo as a little bit of a helping guide now once it's folded take it out again get the stapler staple along about two centimeters in and now thread your dowel in why do I keep on calling them dowels of bamboo? So now this really is starting to resemble a kite and you can see already that it wants to fly. Uh, so we're nearly done. Um, use your stapler to seal off the ends of the bamboo's insertion so now it cannot escape even if you wanted it to. I can feel specks of rain which is pretty typical of British summer to be honest. Now get your string and tie it into a Y shape, uh, equal lengths on each side, and staple these to the top part of the triangle. If you fold over the string it will give it more strength. The final thing to do is to get your dowel and make a little strip of fabric that is folded over and stapled so you can slide the dowel in. I've left two tabs at the sides 
so that it can be stapled to the sides near the downs. Just like that. But one end needs to be kept open if you want the dowel to be removable so that you can roll the kite up when you're finished flying. Once you've done that, the kite is ready to fly. Okay, so it's now pretty much raining, uh, but I'll just give this a test flight. What's we doing? The wind's going to come up a bit. As you can see, it doesn't really need much wind. And the wind is a bit blustery today, so it's working quite well. <laughs> 